When the wall was demolished, many segments were given to institutions all around the world. There's one at the European Parliament in Brussels, while some pieces are even available for sale. The wall itself wasn't built at once, evolving from barbed wire to an almost impenetrable barrier, as RT's Igor Piskunov now reports. What started as a simple barbed wire fence over the years evolved into the formidable Berlin Wall. By 1975, it turned into a complex system of traps and barricades designed in painstaking detail to ensure no one crossed it illegally. First came the rare wall. This is also the first obstacle and route to the west and the beginning of what was dubbed as the death strip. Anti-tank barricades and beds of nails known as Stalin's lawn came right after it, followed by an electric barbed wire fence and alarm wires on the ground, while beneath the ground there were mines to prevent tunneling. From above, the strip was monitored by armed guards in watchtowers. There were also flat strips of sand to show footprints, another line of barricades to stop vehicles, and only then, finally, the actual wall. Built out of reinforced concrete blocks, over three meters tall, L-shaped to prevent them from tipping over if rammed from the inside. And for whoever made it that far on foot, there was one more obstacle, a smooth pipe right on top of the wall, which made scaling it even more difficult. However, on the other side of the wall, it was a massive canvas for graffiti artists. And pieces of that wall were chipped off by the crowd as prized memorabilia on that historic day 25 years ago when people were finally allowed to cross freely into West Berlin.